In this tutorial for the Circular Sync web application, I will show you how to handle import and export of data via the Excel template. I will first log in with my user credentials. And then I want to load a project that we will work on now. It is a circular Sengi diagram of the global steel cycle in 2008 with the primary production, the manufacturing, the use phase and the waste loop. What I did here is I created all these nodes and arranged them so that they are well aligned and I also defined all the flows. But there is no real data in here yet, so all these data here are just fake data just to have in some values to see how it looks. So what we want to do now is we want to download these data, insert the real values and then upload it again to have the finished Sankey with the actual correct node widths. So I will download the data to an Excel file from the web server and this one will then appear in my download folder. From there, I just copy it to my desktop as a working space. And when you open the file, you see there is one tab with all the flow data in separate columns and one tab with all the node data in separate columns. And our goal is to get the right flow data into this column. What I have is an Excel sheet with the raw data that I extracted from the database with the final steel consumption old scrap supply and all the other values and also the total that I want to be displayed. So what we do now is we create a new tab and in this new tab we copy the flow data into that sheet. So now here I have all the right flows defined but with the wrong values. So now what I will do is I will put next to it a column where I copy the right values that I know I want to display. So the first one you see here is the losses. We have the losses for six regions and I want to copy those losses from here to the data sheet. So I will just take them from the sheet and drag them down for the first six examples. The next one is the scrap flows. So from the in-use phases to the scrap markets. So these are the end-of-life losses here. So those I will also drag down here. Then I introduce a graphical trick. I want to have the combined scrap flows flowing as one flow back into the recycling loop. So from the scrap market 1 to scrap market X I want to display the scrap total here and there's another intermediate flow for which it is the same and this is just a design choice that I made so that the whole thing looks nicer. We then have the scrap consumption of the steel making so this is then from the scrap market to the industries. These are those flows that I extracted from the database. Then we have the primary production, which is here. And then we have the final consumption of steel, which is here. So now we have the raw data extracted from the database in the right format to be moved into the Sankey software. Now there's currently one problem and this is because it is a German machine, the German machine doesn't like the dot as a decimal separator. So we will round our values to zero digits, which is fine because they're quite nice and large numbers anyway. So then I have the rounded values. I will now copy back the rounded values 
into the original data file and save it. The reason why I do this in a such a complicated manner is that the uploading routine of the web app doesn't like when there's additional sheets and so on. So we will just use those and save, and save this new data sheet and then go to the web app again and upload the data from the desktop. And what we see is the same Senge diagram as before, but now with the real relationships and ratios between the flows. So this is how you can use the Excel template to put in actual data and have then the web app display the actual relations between flows. And to save that, you can see here the actual data, and then we would update the data in the database, so they are now safely stored on the server.